Here at RNA Scott, we hold the MAN Truck and Bus UK franchise for Gainsborough and the surrounding area. But we don't just service and repair trucks, we do cars as well. Our competitive car service and MOT packages start from as little as £99 and include parts, labour and VAT. But we're not just fanatical about vehicles, we are passionate about football too and are proud to sponsor Gainsborough Trinity. United. Trinity lining up with three changes to the team that was victorious last time out in the 2-1 win over Bamber Bridge. Joe Green starts in goal, John Stewart still struggling with injury and Neil Austin returns at right back in place of Johan Evans. Middleton's also back in for his first start, replacing Ant Wilson who was ill this morning. Through from 1-11, to Joe Green, 2 Neil Austin, 3 Ben Gordon, 4 Simon Russell, 5 Joe Maguire, 6 Nathan Stainfield, 7 Alex Byrne, 8 Captain Shane Clark, 9 Ashley Worsfold, 10 Harry Middleton and 11 Will Longbottom. On the bench for the Holy Blues, George Hornshaw, Yoan Evans, Liam Hughes, Ross Hanna and Alex Simmons. Trinity with a full squad based with United wearing amber, the referee deeming that amber and yellow were too close to mix and that Trinity would have to wear a borrowed kit for the afternoon. Not the ideal first preparations, as Shane Clark and Matty Thornhill greet each other in the centre circle. Today's referee, Ryan Williams, and he'll be assisted by Scott Poston and Joe Clark. The Holy Blues looking to gain the double over Baseford, having beaten them 3-2 earlier on in the season. Shane Clark looks like he's won the toss and has turned the teams around. Trinity will be attacking the goal at the far end with a wind at the back of the Holy Blues. The reintroduced Trinity huddle in full flight at the moment. Huddle together keeping warm. It's a very blowy afternoon this afternoon here in Nottingham. Neil Austin restored to the starting lineup with an early throw down the right-hand side, looking for Worsfold. Ball's kindly for Will Longbottom in a central position though. Longbottom looking to get the ball onto his left foot. First shot of the game, straight at Soldini. Comfortable for the home goalkeeper. But the first side of goal, ball into Trinity. Inside to Worsfold. Worsfold opens the play out and invites Neil Austin to come forward from right back. Austin in the final third. Takes it back, finds Alex Byrne. Alex Byrne looking to make half a yard. Rolls it down the line, Austin delivers. Gathered comfortably at the near post by Soldini, but a promising opening sign for Trinity with Austin and Byrne already interacting. Base for Bono coming forward, ball over top. Courtney Grantham bearing down on goal, low effort, two free. You just want to get on with it before it rolls. Dini up towards halfway, Burns underneath it wins the first ball. Helped on by Longbottom, but can't find Worsfold. Maguire in a tussle with Courtney Grantham. Trinity coming forward now though. Alex Byrne picking it out to the left to Longbottom. Longbottom coming inside and darting back out on the left. Alex Byrne on the left hand side delivers right foot it. Takes a bit of a nick and it's gone behind for a corner to the Blues. Courtney Grantham. Trinity looking to win the ball back but now Courtney Grantham coming forward on the Trinity left hand side. Played in towards the danger area. Put out by Neil Austin. Matt Thornhill now, trying to play down the line. Exchange of passes with Corey Grantham. Thornhill works it in towards Matt Watson, but cut out by Joe. And Baseford emerge with the ball coming forward. Captain Matty Thornhill on the right-hand side. Playing the ball down the line, looking for Corey Grantham. Grantham doing well, approaching the left-hand edge of the area. Good decisive goalkeeping though. Joe Green just getting in and grabbing the ball ahead of Matt Watson. But Joe Green has got something in his eye. Longbottom gets on with it quickly, finds Ben Gordon, and Gordon finds Simon Russell, who immediately looks out to the right-hand side and finds Neil Austin. Austin delivers into the area, Middleton coming forward, and Deeney clears down the right-hand touchline. 
Good play from Neil Austin to win the ball back though. But his pass is loose into the middle of a park and base for now coming forward. Jack Thomas on the Trinity right. Feeds it into Nat Watson. Nat Watson instantly knows where Corey Grantham is on the left hand side. Low ball into the box, cut out by Joe Maguire. And then Neil Austin clearing long down the right hand touch line. 4 0, just left a bit of a foot in. And the referee playing by sound gives the free kick Trinity's way. Swift Gordon. Longbottom looking to get on with things quickly. Finds Clark on the edge of the area. Clark rolls his man well, cuts it back. Ashley Worsfold now strikes, takes a wicked deflection on its way over the bar. And it's a corner to Gainsborough. Joe Green's goal. Joe Green busy constructing his wall. He's got four men in that wall. Alex Byrne, Shane Clark, Will Longbottom and Harry Middleton. Again over the ball. Matty Thornhill and James Reed for Baseford. Green looking to construct his wall. Simon Russell just on the right hand side of the wall. Reed takes seniority. Reed up over the wall, two handed save, turned around the post by Joe Green. He had to get up himself across the goal, the side that the wall was defending, up and over the wall. The quality we expect from James Reed. Joe Green equal to it. Goes out to the left, finds Ben Gordon, and Ben Gordon's able to find Wurzfold's feet. Gordon continues his run, but Trinity caught in possession, and now Baseford looking to come forward. Matt Watson in the Trin Trinity right back area, with room to move towards the area. Maguire up against him, goes to ground. Watson flings himself a bit to ground there. Referee right on it, says no penalty. Left footed delivery towards the back post. Austin underneath it, wins the first ball, he gets a sore one from Matt Watson, but play continues and Shane Clark hammers up over halfway. Worst hold, working hard, wins the ball. And the referee stops play for a head injury, with Worst hold looking to get in. Corey Grant from just preventing the quick free kick from being taken. Retreats. And Joe Maguire doesn't get underneath that one. Simon Russell's in the right place though to win the ball back and help it on. Jack Thomas with the ball in over the top, asking a lot of questions of Corey Grantham. Corey Grantham, a willing runner though, across the six yard box. A smart effort there from Nat Watson, but Trinity just getting the men back, just getting the men in the right place to put the ball behind for a corner kick. If I can get in. There's good, good around 100 Trinity fans here this afternoon. So a good proportion of today's crowd. As Byrne finds Clark on the halfway line. Clark feeds it out to Ben Gordon. And Ben Gordon now coming forward. Ben Gordon finds Alex Simmons. Simmons looking to keep the ball. Finds Clark. Clark tries to roll the ball down the line. But Clark's caught by Matty Thornhill. And the referee wants a word. Ryan Williams him the captain to him. And Thornhill, despite all his clever play in possession of a ball, always did pick up one or two yellow cards in his time at Gaines Trinity. Alex Byrne on the set piece. It's all very narrow at the moment. Wind sweeping across the pitch as Byrne goes over the top. Evans gets down. Oh, Middleton can't divert it goalwards. Worst hole tries to get a volley in, but Thornhill's in right place. And now Baseford breaking away down the Trinity left for Baseford right. Matt Watson slows things down, awaits for support. Jack Thomas tries to go past. Simon Russell, but Russell sticks out a telescopic leg. Alex Byrne this time going to the byline. Thrown into Clark. Clark rolls his man and squares it. Finds Alex Simmons. Simmons up against Lewis Carr. Simmons going the long way round, looking to get. It goes past Lewis Carr, gets to the byline. Left footed delivery, stands it up. Worsfold, fires goalwards. It's blocked. It falls for Byrne. 
fired across goal by Alex Byrne from field. He's caught in possession though and Baseford now coming forward. Nat Watson looking to get at Trinity from the left hand side. Breezes past Joe Maguire like he's not there. Right foot effort. Joe Green's got everything behind it. But shows how quickly and how dangerous Baseford can be. Looking to latch on to any mistake any time Trinity dwell in possession. There's a couple of yellow or amber shirts quickly pressing. Joe Green up and under towards halfway. Inadvertently helped on by the baseman man. Clark in a 50-50. The free kick goes against Shane Clark who's just been booked. And it's just, and Clark stay, rightly staying down as tempers flare on the halfway line. It looked like Clark had won the ball, was going forward and then got caught. Both players though are staying down. Referee hasn't indicated which way the decision is going. He's checked on the well-being of a base with man who's staying down. Shane Clark also staying down. But a big collision between the two skippers, both who are on yellow cards I believe. So whichever way this goes, but which way is he giving the free kick? <laughs> I don't know which way he's given a free kick because Shane Clark is on a yellow, Matty Thornhill's on a yellow, and the referee hasn't actually given a decision of which way the free kick's gone yet. It looks like it'll be a second yellow for one of the two captains. Shane Clark's back on his feet and he's waiting for Thornhill to return to his feet. And as Thornhill returns to his feet, he is shown a second yellow card and Baseford are reduced to 10 men. Again, Joe Green, very, very irate, trying to get the Trinity defence to defend higher. He's very animated. He's clearly telling them what he wants them to do. And he's not happy, but they're not listening. First free kick was flat. Second one, Baseford looking to get in behind. Turn goalwards, missed an open goal somehow with Green exposed his near post somehow that one's not gone in and a let off for the Holy Blues with nine minutes to go it's Baseford nil against the Trinity nil Neil Austin allowed to get on with things posed down the line but not finding a Trinity blue shirt not falling for Gainsborough at the moment as Baseford come forward down the Trinity right hand side for Baseford left as with Nat Watson tricking his way into the area, finds Toxtel. Toxtel leaves it, let fly, and into the back. Offside flag is up. I, it looked like that had gone in the bottom corner. The flag was up. I don't know if it did. It, oh, it's still nil-nil. We're into the final three and a half minutes here. Let's add it time. As Joe Green clears long. Liam Hughes looking to occupy Brad Gascoigne but Gascoigne does well in the air. Clark wins the ball back. Trinity coming forward through Ben Gordon down the left hand side. Ben Gordon looking for the ball, finds Simmons. Simmons able to turn, plays the ball in to the box, cut out by Brad Gascoigne and hammered up towards halfway. Trinity with a one man advantage looking to come forward. Russell finds Neil Austin. Neil Austin helps it on to Alex Byrne, who's hugging the right-hand touchline. Alex Byrne coming inside, trying to make half a yard, delivers in towards the six-yard box. Worst fault! Point blank save from Deeney. Superb chance back for Trinity to snatch all three points, but worst fault, head in hands. Trinity coming forward, Middleton finding Alex Byrne and Alex Byrne looking to get down the right hand side again. Alex Byrne looking to go past Roma, delivered in across the front of the goal, but Dini gets there ahead of Wurzfeld and bowls out. Fernando Tuxtall Bell gets half a touch there, but Ben Gordon wins the ball back. Ben Gordon driving forward from left back, comes inside, Alex Byrne takes over, Byrne, Ben Gordon through on goal, saved by point blank save again from Sol Dini. 
Ben Gordon's turn to have his head in his hands as Baseford now coming forward looking to expose the gap left. Sean Howard looks to play the neat ball in. Trinity just about closed the back door just in time. Two chances in the last couple of minutes. Key chances for the Blues but Sold Soldini both times denying. Wood. It's turned into a real end-to-end -end game. Yaron Evans though in the right place. Simmons steps in and wins the ball back well. Shane Clark now. Not Shane Clark even. Liam Hughes steps forward and lets fly yard wide of the left hand post. Frustration. Trinity asking questions. Three minutes it looks like will be added on at the end of the game. It might be time for one last chance for Trinity. Can the Holy Blues take it? Joe Green clears long. Liam Hughes competing for the ball. Russell turns the ball out to the right-hand side, finds Alex Byrne. Alex Byrne, who's come alive in the last five minutes, looking to go past his man. Looking to keep the ball, offload into Simon Russell. Russell turns, gets it back to Alex Byrne on the right-hand side. Byrne delivers into the area. Fizzing ball, hooked out, hooked clear by Court Courtney Grantham. Trinity coming forward again. Simmons now, getting on the half turn, driving into the penalty area. Low effort, yeah! Simmons! Surely he's won it! It's, it's Alex Simmons, half turn, took game, let fly, goalkeeper, didn't have time to set himself, it's gone through Soldini, who's previously been an unbreakable barrier, it's gone straight through him, and Simmons looks like he's won it in the third minute of stoppage time at the end of the second half. It's based for United 0, games for Trinity 1. Trinity have come on strong in the last five minutes, for Baseford skippers sending off crucial in Trinity finishing this one stronger the man advantage looks like it has paid looks like it has paid dividends make sure that they see it through as it's balls hammered clear by Gascoigne up towards halfway met first by Joe Maguire and then headed home by Owen Evans Joe Green collapsing on the ball on the edge of his 18 yard box keeping it in his grasp how long does the referee want to play we're an hour on 95 minutes. That is full time. Referee Ryan Williams bringing the game to a close. It's finished here in the Eva City Northern Premier. Based for United nil, games for Trinity 1. The Holy Blues left it late, but just about got what they deserved. Three points and maintain the playoff spot. Thanks for joining us. I'll be back again soon when I've calmed down a little bit.